Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a nice geometry math problem. Let's say we have given a close figure, a right angle triangle, whose one side is given, perpendicular or side is given. Our target is to find out the perimeter of this right angle triangle. Now how can we solve this math problem? Look into this figure here, we have only one side of this triangle given. And the perimeter is the sum of its all three sides. So we have to find out the length of these two sides. But also remember that if we change the value of this perpendicular height, so there are infinite possible solution of this problem. So let's start our solution. First of all, let us suppose this is our side A of this triangle. This is side B and this is side C. So we will try to find out the value of B and C. Look at this figure, this is a right angle triangle. So here we will apply the Pythagoras theorem and we will find out the value of P and C. So by Pythagoras theorem here we can write by Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras theorem states that square of hypotenuse is equal to perpendicular square plus base square so therefore from here from this figure we can write or hypotenuse is c so this becomes c square is equal to perpendicular square that is a square plus base square base is b this become b square so here we have given the width of the perpendicular that is 5 so this will become c square minus b square is equal to a is 5, so this will become 5 square. Now here in the left hand side, we will use an algebraic identity. Here, this left hand side is in a square minus b square form. So, here in the left hand side, we will use this one algebraic identity a square minus b square, which is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So, using this identity here, this left hand side will become. This will become c plus b times c minus b is equal to 5 square is simply 25. Now look at to the left hand side here is the product of two expressions. So therefore here we will factorize this number to its factors. So what are the possible factors of 25? The possible factors of 25 are we can write 25 as 1 times 25. This can also be written as 25 times 1, but it can also be written as 5 times 5 or 25. So these three are possible factors of 25. But look to the left hand side here for any two numbers c and b, this sum will be always greater than c minus b in their difference. So here we will take only that expression, that pair, that match this left hand side. Look into this expression, this factors here, this cannot match with this because here one is smaller than 25. So therefore here we will reject this pair of factors. So we will take out this one because it matches with this one expression. I will also reject this one pair of factors. So here our this equation will become, this will become C plus B times C minus B is equal to 25 times 1 here we will take c plus b equal to 25 and this expression equal to 1 so from here we will get c plus b is equal to 25 and c minus b is equal to 1 then we will add these two equations so this is c plus b is equal to 25 and this will become c minus b is equal to 1 now adding these two equations, this will become here this negative b and this positive b will be cancelled and c plus c is 2c is equal to 25 plus 1 is 26. So here we will divide both sides by 2. 2 and 2 will be cancelled, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 30 is 26. So from here we will get the value of c is 13. Now we substitute this value of c in an equation to find out the value of b. So we substitute this value here in equation number 4 first so the first equation is c plus b is equal to 25 so let's substitute c is equal to 13 so this will become 
13 plus b is equal to 25 and we will take this 13 to the right hand side so this will become b is equal to 25 minus 13 so the final value of b will become 25 minus 13 is simply 12 so this is the value of b and this is the value of c so here we have find it the value of b and c where the value of a is already given so therefore the perimeter of this right angle triangle will become perimeter of this right angle triangle will become that is the sum of its three sides a plus b plus c and here the value of a is 5 the value of b is 12 where the value of c is 13 so the sum of these three values so 5 plus 12 is simply 17 17 plus 13 is 30 so therefore our perimeter is 30 units so here the width of this perimeter in this closed figure in this right angle triangle is 30 units which is our final answer and final target and last don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step geometry solutions thanks for watching